We gotta talk about Boogie Cousins. Trust me, I get it. I get why when the news he was heading to the Warriors hit, it felt just so insane to so many fans. The team that has won three of the last four titles and already has two MVPs, plus two other All-Stars, is adding yet another All-Star starter? Even other NBA players couldn't handle it. Here's a tweet from Utah's Jay Crowder. What are we doing here, guys, he asks. And the Clippers' Patrick Beverly. Come on, man. And the Knicks, Enos Cantor posted this video with the caption, mood all around the league. There was also plenty of jokes about LeBron, who just the day before announced he'd be signing with the Lakers and playing in the Western Conference for the first time in his career. Joel Embiid tweeted, there's still time to change your mind, LOL. And then let's pull a DeAndre Jordan. Amazing. Of course, the salary cap is supposed to prevent teams from being able to load up like this. And indeed, the Warriors should not have been able to use the $5.3 million mid-level exception for a player of Boogie's caliber. A player of Boogie's caliber can usually earn around 30 to 35 million a year. And that is likely the payday he was in line for this summer, if he hadn't ruptured his Achilles in January. But Boogie did rupture his Achilles. And that devastating an injury usually requires eight to 12 months of rehab. And even then, some players never fully recover. And that put GMs around the league in a difficult spot. Boogie's situation was way too uncertain for anyone to offer him a multi-year max. It would have been insane to tie up that much money without even knowing what you're getting. So that leaves one-year deals. But if you're only gonna offer him a one-year, well, who wants to pay a full season salary when it feels like maybe up to half that season will be eaten up just by rehab? Add in that two-thirds of the league's team, two-thirds, didn't even enter this crazy tight summer with any cap space, and add in that some teams still have questions about DeMarcus's attitude. Well, that's how we got to Boogie telling the undefeated Mark Spears that zero teams made him what he called, quote, serious offers. And that is why, Boogie told Mark, he had his agent reach out to the Warriors. Golden State really is a perfect fit. The Warriors are so pressure free, so talent rich, they can afford to be patient through Boogie's recovery and refrain from rushing him onto the floor. The Warriors also have a strong team culture. And we know from his Team USA Olympic time, Boogie already gets along well with guys like Steph and Clay. I mean, this clip from 2014 cracks me up every time I see it. Take a look. Who are you, DeMarcus? The third splash, brother. We ain't get that, I don't get that on camera, right? We gotta, we gotta get this right. The third splash, brother. We're still taking applications, don't worry. <laughs> So good. People who follow the show regularly know I am Team Boogie. I love watching Boogie Cousins play basketball. I have also been very vocal. All those character concerns are painted with a really unfairly broad brush. The bottom line is this is a high talent player who lost his chance at a Supermax contract when he was traded to New Orleans against his wishes and then lost his chance at a regular Max deal when he got hurt. He's fighting through a long, painful rehab and there are no guarantees he will fully return to what he once was. Now, at least he has a shot at it, and maybe he even wins a ring in the process, just, I don't know, 70 miles up the road from the team that spurned him? That's a fun story. If even in the moment last night, I know, it certainly didn't feel like it. So guys, I, I wanna know what your initial reaction was. By Byron, when you, when you found out Boogie was going to the Warriors, were you shocked? What did you think? I was shocked. I'd sit there and just was like, wow. You know, they, they just won a championship. They just won the last three out of four titles. And now they are able to add a player like Boogie Cousins to the roster. Uh, I mean, the rich just keep getting richer. I mean, this is one of the best teams in, in the league. And they get a player of that caliber for one more year or for one year at the minimum, at, you know, the minimum, the, the vet minimum, five five point three million. So I was I was really shocked by, by it and, and kind of throwing back a little bit. But I know the Golden State Warriors are sitting there going, wow, he wants to play with us, which is what great teams do. I mean, they want people, you know, people want to go play for teams that win and th teams that have great culture. So um, this, I think it shocked a lot of people, to be honest with you, Rachel. I mean, because it is one of the best players in the league at that position. We know that. You know, Boogie is one of the best centers in the league. And when healthy, we know how great he can play uh, on the offensive end especially. So I was really, really thrown back when I saw this yesterday. Yeah, I mean, when I saw it, I thought, cool. 
you know, cool for the boogie, cool for the Warriors. It's a good opportunity for both of them to have a nice risk-reward thing. The Warriors are certainly a team that can take a flyer on something. They're in a great position to do that. Then I saw the reaction, Rachel, to the not just the, the fans. The fans I'm totally down with. This is a, a time of the year for fans to get excited and overexcited. But people within the league who probably should know better, assuming that they just signed Will Chamberlain in his prime. I mean, in a year <laughs> from now, I know that Boogie will be a much better player. But anybody who's ever recovered from an Achilles injury will tell you it's absolutely devastating. And so um, and I think it's really good that Mark Spears was able to report that it was Boogie who called the Warriors. Because mm. I think another thing was like, oh, my God, the Warriors, they're 11 moves ahead. They had this plotted out since February. They're so smart. No, the Warriors are just so good, and they've got such a great roster that they can afford to use a roster spot on a guy who may not play for six or seven months. So here's my thing. If Boogie at $5 million a year helps them win three playoff games, Rachel, it will have been a wonderful investment. And if he has a nice last two months of the season and rebuilds his value, it'll be perfect for him. But let's not freak out like this is the greatest starting five in the history of the game and the boogie is going to prance out there on opening night in October and score 45 points alongside Steph scoring 42. This is a major injury. Let's just give him time. Let's just give him space and not freak the freak out. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look, the nice thing is that the Warriors can sort of maximize Boogie's recovery because they do play so deep into June. If he joined up with a different team, maybe that team is done in April and he has a shorter window to really hit his stride. And then when he goes back on the market next summer, he will have had a great run up playing with a great team and an offense that is going to feature him beautifully with some of the best players on earth, right? And that is going to give him a great launch into his next free agency.